perfect son for my life and the renovation business. Love Shag Baby. Woo. Anyway, um, hey there, it's Deb, and I'm on my way to my Love Shacks in Geneva, New York. And I thought I would make a quick video just to talk to you today about, I guess you would say it's the classic mistakes that beginners make. And I know them well because I made them myself when I started, first started buying rental property. So what the mistake is, is that people buy cheap property, and I call them no income, low income areas. And the thing that's so confusing for them, and it was for me at first, was the cash flow. They actually have really high cash flow. So you're going, wow, so they cash flow? Like, what's wrong with that picture? So what's wrong with that picture is that's only one element of being a real estate investor and owning rental property. So just because they cash flow, it doesn't mean that they are appreciating that they're going to hold their value or that they're going to be easy to manage and maintain. I would tell you that from my experience, um, the first three years of being a real estate investor was absolute living hell for me because I made that classic mistake. I bought properties that needed a lot of work in no income, low income areas. And I was fortunate because that area did start turning around, the properties did start appreciating, and I got out. You know, I sold my properties, I got out of there, and I can tell you what happens typically to people who I would really love to see um, in the business is they don't come back in because the maintenance calls and the drama associated and all the issues for collecting rents and the high eviction cost were just way too much for them to even reconsider. But I did get back in, and what I learned was that um, investing in, I call them C neighborhoods, which are fringe markets that show a lot of promise, like they're already going in the direction that you wanna be going in, and guess what? I still found inexpensive properties, but the difference was they had the other two components. They were easy to own, easy to manage, and easy to maintain. They appreciated in value, and with sweat equity that I put into, there was a lot of um, value there for me as a real estate investor. So I hope that helps you out um, if you're thinking of investing in rental property. And what I bought, in the beginning were a bunch of doubles. Like I bought over 12 do doubles in the first three years because that's what I thought made a lot of sense. And it sure did make a lot of sense on paper. Now that I'm back in the game in a very different way, this is you know 20 years down the road, what I'm really, really enjoying is owning single family properties. And what I'm seeing is that these tenants take care of the properties um, like it's their own home, especially if you give them a home that's in beautiful shape. Um, it has doesn't have to be brand new, but it has to be clean and at least updated like new countertops, beautiful new faucets, light fixtures, um, painted with a decorator eye. Love to hear your comments uh, if you needed any answers. I'd love to answer you here on this posting. So have a great day and love shack baby. <laughs> and bye for now.